babe. I'm kind of on the late side. I am nine weeks and two days today, and I feel very blessed that I can still do it today because it's I've been working today. It's the first day back at work, and um, I'm extremely done with this. So um, I'm making this one without any type of preparation. So bear with me. As for symptoms, I am definitely way, way, way more tired than I've ever been this pregnancy, or for the last nine weeks. Um, it started off like just needing like to rest for like 30 minutes on the couch reading a magazine or something like that. And then it turned into like having to take a nap on Logan naps. Now Logan's naps are not long enough. If I go down for like a nap, I'm like out for like two hours at least. So, and Logan doesn't nap for longer than 90 minutes. Or he shouldn't at least. I think he could but um, it's not our goal plan. So I'm kind of dependent on whether or not Rob is able to take him out of his bed and like take care of him for a little bit so I can sleep in a little bit longer. Um, or take my nap, probably stretch my nap. Um, be, um, yeah, so yeah, that's, exhaustion is really big right now. Hoping it goes away pretty soon because now even working is hard and anything is just hard. Like I'm like exhausted already and stunning in the morning. It's not even funny. Um, other symptoms, definitely nausea. A lot more. Um, it starts during the night, lasts till like two in the afternoon ish, maybe four, something like that. Start feeling better. Um, I'm not throwing up a lot, it's just more that I'm nauseous because apparently when I'm pregnant, I have super fast metabolism. I had a little bit too, I eat something and I'm super full, and then within like an hour, I'm like starving again. So, um, yeah, I'm just constantly to eat something, which I'm doing right now, and that helps a lot, but I'm still kind of nauseous every once in a while during the day, and um, just feel queasy a lot, and I definitely am very, like, have dark nose, I'm very super sensitive to smells, why am I so low in my camera, I have no idea, um, like, any type of smell, I'm like, ugh, this is gross, and I'm talking about, like, the trash can, or car fumes, or dishwashers, or Logan's diaper, or laundry, or you name it, it makes me gag, and that's not fun, but what are you gonna do? Um, the other thing that is definitely happening, and I thought it was more like a, because I was on vacation, and I was in a different bed, and like a different surroundings and everything, that I had these weird dreams, and I was sleeping very um, restless. It has nothing to do with being on vacation. I've been home for a couple of nights now and it happens every night. I dream really weird and I wake up and I'm like, oh, why do I dream this? I'm like dreaming about chasing people and I'll go back to sleep and I dream the exact same dream, like still chasing people or something like that. And um, I just feel really restless. I keep having to toss and turn and thank God for my pregnancy pillow. So I at least get a little bit of comfort, but by the beginning of morning like around like five or six my back starts to hurt like really really badly and I just I'm kind of just want to get out of bed but I'm still too tired so probably um plays hand in hand with not having a lot of, of energy during the day and needing a two hour nap um but that's basically it for symptoms I think I would think so as for cravings and aversions I had my first craving I was craving cauliflower I am not a fan of cauliflower. Like, I would eat it like once in a while, like maybe out of the oven or something, like a little bit of cheese or something, but mm, yeah, maybe like once every like year. I was craving cauliflower so badly. We bought it and with some cheese sauce on it and I actually like, cooked the cauliflower and like drizzled some cheese sauce on it and it was delicious. And I ate like four bites and then I was done because I was so full, but oh, it felt so satisfying. Um, like my aversions, anything that smells bad, it's just not funny. Um, but I don't really have any food aversions, I don't believe. It's just like dishes and laundry and stuff like that. That is usually not like the best to do. It's just horrible right now. <sighs> Excuse me. As for weight gain, I have not gained anything. I've actually lost two pounds, which means I'm back to my pre-pregnancy weight. Um, with this baby, I guess. Not with Logan. <laughs> I wish I was that light. Or that light. That small. Um, so yeah, I am, if you look at the day I found out I was pregnant and now, I'm exactly the same, which is good. I kind of don't want to gain anything up until my second trimester. So, for now, that's good. 
Um, I think it has everything to do with the fact that I'm back on the Fitbit and I'm washing my carbs a lot more now that I'm back on vacation, so I'm kind of dropping a little bit. Um, but it's all good. Um, and I think that's it for this video. I don't really know what else to update you guys on. Just kind of the same. Yeah, so I'm guessing I'm going to show you guys the belly now. Okay. This is the shirt down from the side. The front. The other side. You definitely start to see like a little roundness at the bottom. Mind you, this is the end of the day, so yeah. Probably looks a lot bigger than it did last week. This last week I filmed like in the morning. So yeah. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, I'll leave those down below in the comment section. And I will guess I'll talk to you guys after I have my midwife appointment. I have my midwife appointment tomorrow afternoon. So I hopefully have a video about that by the end of this week. Fingers crossed I can do that. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye everyone. Bye.